pass it over to Gordon. My name is Gordon Degg, and I'm the director of Stockton Folk Dance Camp. And I want to welcome everybody to the opening of the 2020 virtual Stockton Folk Dance Camp. Our first event will be a roundtable discussion about what the VSFDC is all about. The Board of Directors for Stockton Folk Dance Camp realizes that the teachers and musicians depend on jobs such as those provided by Folk Dance Camp that are essential to their livelihood. Even though attendance at our virtual camp will be completely free of charge, we are asking that if you can afford it, please make a donation to a teacher or a musician or even to everybody to help them financially survive these trying times. Today's roundtable event will be a discussion about this year's virtual Stockton Folk Dance Camp and what we plan on doing during the approximately 35 hours of live presentations given by 20 different teachers and musicians, as well as a lot of additional fun events that will be presented the, during the week of July 11 to July 18. I'd like to introduce the teachers that and uh, people that will be uh, hosting this event. So uh, Aaron, can you uh, introduce yourself? Hey, uh, my name is Aaron. Uh, Aaron Alpert, and I would normally be teaching, and I am going to be teaching Israeli dances. Ahmed. Yes, sir. My name is Ahmed Luleji, and uh, I'll be teaching, at least trying to teach Turkish dancing. <laughs> Bill. So my name is Bill Cope, and um, I will be uh, leading a sing-along, as I've usually done at the, at the camps over the years, also <clears throat> involved with the auction in terms of a Zerna wake-up call, and uh, finally doing a house tour here also later. Christian and Sonia. Hello. Bonjour, Hello. everybody. My name, my complete name, it's Floresco Christian Gabriel. Mm -hmm. I am very serious. And close to me, my beautiful Sonia Dion. Yeah. She, wife. Yeah. And together we will do some um, easy hora from Romania, traditional hora from Romania. We will also try to present you cooking and we will participate in different games and many, many things and maybe Surprise. we would like to welcome kids to have fun with us. Tinika and Maritz. Hello, everybody. It's such a nice event that we can meet uh, like this. Although, as they say, we have to stop meeting like that. Yeah, and I think uh, the real camp should be coming too as well. But we have the second best virtual camp. I'm Tineke van Geel. Um, normally, I teach Armenian dances. In virtual camp, I will teach Armenian dances. Tineke and Maritz. Um, but Hello, for the normal camp, I will teach event. international we dances meet, uh, like this. Although. As they say, we have to stop meeting like that. Yeah, and I think that the real camp should be coming too as well. But we have the second best virtual camp. I'm Tinika van Geel. Okay, Roberto from Italy. Yeah, hi everybody from this side of the ocean. And I'm very glad I'm Roberto Bagnoli and I'm planning to teach a selection of Balkan dances from different countries. And part of our support group and organizing is uh, Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa Michael. I'm a camper with less than three years of dance experience, but I've been to Stockton twice. Okay. Something, te some, something technical there. went wrong, uh, Gordon. Something what? technical thing went wrong. So Tinika was uh, double <laughs> in the air. Um, <laughs> my name is Maurits van Geel. I will not teach in the virtual camp. Next year, I will be teaching uh, Balkan and Roma dances, but um, I'm responsible for some of the video films you will see during the week. Okay, thank you, Maurice. Uh, see, Bobby, board of director men member. Okay, must be on Facebook. Uh, Julie? On Facebook. On Facebook, okay, yes. Adoni. I'm and here. Adoni, I can't, I can't say enough about uh, Adoni's job. He's the organizer. He's the one that's put this together. And so, Adoni, do you have a few words? 
Uh, thank you all is uh, yes, there's a team of about 40 of us, including teachers, MCs and behind the scenes people putting this together. We'll bring you a great camp and I'll be here pushing buttons and showing little screenshots while we have a great round table. Okay, so Ahmed, what are yeah. your, what are your views about virtual Stockton folk dance camp. All right, first of all, um, it's going to be special because it is the first of its kind. So I, I know it's going to be great because, like Edoni said, there are a lot of people behind the scenes preparing for this. I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a different uh, experience. Uh, this is, again, it, it really shows how Stockton is. It, it always tries the first and succeeds, and everybody follows after that. So uh, why Stockton is so special is for me as a teacher, uh, because it tests you. Uh, you know, like you have to be prepared, you have to be well organized and you have to deliver your material. So if you make it there, you make it anywhere kind of a camp. So it's special. And this is another one. It's going to test us. It's going to take not taste us, but it's going to test us. <laughs> It'll be great fun. And I'm very much looking forward to it. And I would like to pass it to my uh, brother in crime, Christian, to give his, get his uh, feeling. See, Ahmed. <laughs> Thank you very much. But for sure, it's not ideal to teach yeah. online. It's yeah. a challenge for you and for teacher. But this is one of the reasons we choose this time to show you some easy dance, not complicated, not too much jumping in the house. and. Yeah. I think more accessible for everybody to be happy. Yeah. The idea is to be together. Doesn't matter the country, doesn't matter the language, doesn't matter the color of your skin. I don't do politics, but it's the best, the best by music and by dance to be together. And this is, we do what we like to do. And we hope you will, you will enjoy the Virpel uh, Stockton camp. Anyway, I will. I live in Montreal with Sonia, beautiful Sonia. I we want to pass the Atlantic Ocean to go in Peiba, Netherlands, to my colleague and my friends, Maurice Van Hel. Please, Maurice. Okay, Prieten um, Meo, Christian. Okay. Um, well, for me, Stockton, uh, and I have I've been to Stockton a few times, not as a teacher. Last year, I was there as a teacher, and all uh, events, all the times that I was there, it meant little sleep, but a lot of energy. And now I, we have been working the last two weeks for this virtual camp, and I think it will be little sleep and a lot of energy. So um, also uh, singing, that's another part of, uh, of Soft and Folk Dance Camp. So I want to, um, to ask Bill Cope to continue to tell what will happen. Thank you very much, Maurice. And you know, the thing that I would uh, say most that I love about Stockton Camp is it's a true celebration of the global diversity of dance and music on our beautiful planet. You know, so much talent, so much experience, so much of a vision of what our planet can be, of what our world can be in terms of bringing people together, wherever they are from, wherever they're going in their lives, that's what makes Stockton special for me year after year after year. And this one will, level, will bring us a level of inclusion wherever we are on this world, right? In a new way, having to meet new challenges in these trying times. And I really look forward to it. It's very exciting to be part of this, of this virtual camp this year. And I think some of the things we learned from this will continue into our future next year and for years to come. And now please let me uh, send it back to Canada, to the to the amazing and beautiful Sonia. Oh. Uh, Bill, I agree so much with what you just say and all my other colleagues just mentioned. Uh, Stockton Folk Dance Camp means a lot to us, even that we have been married there. Um, so to have the, the opportunity to have a first time online camp it's amazing because first it br bring back all the friends from all over the world together in the same time and give the chance to people who never have been to that camp to try it at least once this one yes yes so 
physically we are not together we cannot oh yes yeah. oh, each not, other not problem, <laughs> like usually we do at camp we not fair. hours okay. and hours to hugs and to have fun and to go tiptoe our, our feet in water to, but um, we will be together in a different way and don't forget that there's broadcast so you can catch the the things that you didn't catch at you know at this hour you can if you wake up in the middle of the night or you can broadcast the the camp and then have the feeling that you dance and enjoy and have fun for 24 hours or almost every day for one full week and at the end of the week we will all laugh a lot and we will be silly and uh, be uh, new friends and I would like to introduce our dear friend Aaron that we met at camp three years ago yeah. and uh, Aaron is so a great young man with a lot of energy nice sense of humor and a very generous heart and it shows that he is a great teacher and you will enjoy. Aww. Thank you, Sonia. Uh, it's it's so wonderful to see you here online and, and uh, hear that from you. That was very kind. Um, Stockton, to me, it, it's all about the people. There's really just wonderful people from all over the world. And over the course of a week, they become a family. Um, and, and, you know, we live together, we eat together, we... Um, sometimes we argue with each other, but really it's, it's, we love each other and we dance together, of course. Um, and I think this year with the virtual camp, we have the opportunity to bring in even more people, people who might not be able to make it out to California or, um, you know, it's, it's cost prohibitive for them, but this year we can expand our family and bring in, uh, even more people. So I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, you know, and, and for uh, a really great Stockton, the first one ever online. So uh, with that, I think we should head back across the ocean, uh, back to the Netherlands and uh, check in with Tineke. Tineke. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. Well, crossing the ocean. Um, I'm not the only Dutch, by the way, that taught at Stockton Camp. A lot of our Dutch colleagues have been teaching at camp. So we feel very related uh, as the Netherlands with Stockton Foglands Camp. So I really want to mention some things that makes it maybe different. We know about the dance classes. There are a lot of other activities going on. We might uh, see a little bit of that. But what also is quite unique is that as a teacher, you have the chance to lead what's called an assembly. And an assembly means that you can uh, talk about a cultural topic or some background information about the country uh, where the dancers come from, which you teach. Um, and I'm so happy that at least that tradition we can keep going on virtual camp. We will do a tour, in my case, uh, facts about the Netherlands and about Dutch costumes, which of course normally I can never carry with me in my suitcase. So, well, yes, disadvantages bring advantages. So at least I'm happy that I can contribute like that. So uh, that's also interesting to, to see, I guess, and more, but we will talk about some more items, I'm, I'm sure, later. Another little thing which I really want to mention, we talked about Stockton, unique, international, etc. But another unique thing is that um, Gordon was mentioning donations. Uh, okay, to support teachers. Yes, it's very painful. You make a living by teaching dance. It's a choice of life. But at least this camp is, is paying their teachers and musicians, and that's quite extraordinary and exception. And your donation will help um, will help Stockton Camp. You want to add to that, Maurits? No, it's it's fantastic. I mean, um, all the, the the workshops are cancelled, but Stockton is is paying the normal fee to everybody, the teachers, the musicians. Wonderful. Thank you very much. So. Your donations will be used very, very in a useful way. So I want to mention that. Um, and let's go on because there are a lot of nice items to talk about. So I'll pass the, uh, not across the ocean. I stay in my uh, continent in Europe. So hi, Roberto. Hi, hi, Tineke, thank you. 
Uh, so my first impression when I got to Stockton uh, many, many years ago, and I, I don't want to to steal the, the words from Aaron, but it was just uh, really the feeling of uh, being in a family. And for me, it was that from, from the first moment. And still through the years, it uh, stays like that. And uh, so it's also, it's a great pleasure for me to be back in this uh, big family with the, with all the teachers, with all the people that is involved, because it's not only workshop. Workshop is one of the main thing, but uh, it's not, you know, Stockton is not only that. There are so many, many activities going around. And uh, for me, it's a, it's a big honor to, to be in part of that. Um, so I'm gonna pass the, the word to Lisa. Thank you. Um, well, I've just been inspired listening to all the teachers even just now, as I'm a camper. Um, and I joined this lovely, lovely family uh, less than three years ago. And it is a lovely family to have joined up to. Um, one of the parts of camp that I find particularly magical are the parties. Um, I've not seen anything like them going to a nightly dance party every night with the teachers who have taught you teaching at the beginning and then just dancing with your friends until late is amazing and never seen anything like it. So I hope you enjoy. I will pass it to Amit. Okay. I would like to talk about the traditions, tradition of uh, Stockton Folk Dance Camp. Um, I don't remember when was the first time I was there. I was shocked uh, because I come from Turkey and nothing is organized. <laughs> Everything is uh, spontaneous. So you just do whatever you feel like, whenever you feel like. So Stockton was the exact opposite. Everything is so well organized. Everything is so uh, put it together professionally that uh, I was kind of like, where am I? What am I doing here? And uh, I'm sure I frustrated many people there. But the thing is, what I really love about Stockton is that Stockton is, is a heaven for, especially uh, for those who wants to get the origin, origin, original material and who wants to get it from the original teachers and who wants to actually teach the material to their own groups or to their friends because they prepare everything so well, they pre including the teachers, they prepare well, that actually you execute, as, a, as being a teacher, you execute your material to, to the campus and you know your material is gonna go all around the country. Like for instance, one of the thing about Stockton Folk Dance Camp is so uh, helpful and very different is that they have a huge archives. They have a library. Uh, if you go as a camper, you, can, you go to library and you find dances, you find uh, teachers' videos, music, and everything from 1940s, 1930s, whatever. It's crazy. I mean, I've seen a picture of Gordon when he was a teenager in that library, and he still had Birkenstocks on. <laughs> That's true. And uh, so it's, it's amazing. It really is a great camp. It's like many people think Stockton is too serious. Well, you would not know if, unless you come to see how fun it is. It is serious, don't get me wrong. Uh, Stockton always gives me the feeling of, there's this saying, work like you'll never die, party like there's no tomorrow. That to me is Stockton in a way, actually. I mean, you work like crazy from 8 a.m. till 2 a.m., all dancing, all parties, all this and that. But once the classes are over, you party like crazy and it's so much fun. You have no idea how, ma how many memories I have that uh, I still tell people and we laugh together especially the ones with Jerry Health. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have not been to the Stockton Folk Dance Camp, this is one camp that you have to put it on your list to really come because you learn, but you also have the greatest fun. Uh, like for instance, uh, I have a problem of writing dance notations and, and, and it makes me crazy when people ask me the dance notations. Uh, I don't know how to do it. And when I do it, even I can't tell what I'm writing. But you know what? They have people assigned for you during the camp. They say, Ahmed, you wrote this, but it's actually, you didn't mean this. I'm like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So they fix your dance notations and you have a wonderful <laughs> dance notation for the following years to give. So uh, a lot of great traditions. For instance, I learned how to be a good teacher. If I'm a good teacher, which people say, they think I'm a good teacher. If I'm a good teacher, it's because of Stockton, really, because I improved my teaching skills at Stockton. 
seeing other teachers, but also uh, 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 getting used to getting understanding the rules of uh, teaching at the camp. So it's a very special camp. It is like um, uh, for, it's, a, it's a heaven for campers, but it's also a heaven for teachers because you learn, you really do. Sky's the limit for art, as we all know. And I'm still learning, obviously, but Stockton has a big impact in my uh, career for many days. Uh, it's such a, a traditional camp. There is not very many camps left. It goes traditional like this. I, as far as I, I think from my research, I know there are very few camps as old as Stockton Folk Dance Camp. Uh, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be the 73rd year. Uh, I think only my main Folk Dance Camp in the East Coast and Stockton in, in the West Coast are the ones they are still, they still have the flag and they're running. And, um, and they're running because there's a reason why they go so strong. One of the reasons they go so strong is because they have a very dynamic board of directors. Um, you know, like they, they have new people on the board of directors all the time. The, the ones they get bored and they get old, not old, they get uh, tired. <laughs> For those who lose their hair, you know, they leave the board, they want to look good. So it's, uh, it's a dynamic board. So that means actually that, you know, every year, there is a new excitement. There is a new, uh, you know, momentum going, and they're also aware of what's going on around the world and try to keep up with it. Just like this year, for instance, uh, who would have thought that an entire camp would go online virtually and do this, get this done? Okay, we haven't, we haven't done it yet, but I, I know I can assure you that it's going to be a great one because there are so many amazingly talented people behind this. We, the teachers, actually just in front of the uh, window, but there are a lot of people behind the scenes preparing all these things for you. I mean, e even thinking about how to reach people in Far East, people in uh, you know Middle East and this and that. So it's, it, so my main point is that Stockton is a tradition and uh, once you get into it, you cannot get out of it because it is contagious and it is in a positive way and it is one of a kind. And I'm very, very happy. I'm very proud to be part of it. Uh, every, every time I think about Stockton, I have this beautiful, uh, wonderful smile in my heart. It's a special, special camp. I sure hope that you're going to uh, breathe this tradition with us. In, in... I got uh, uh, two more hours to talk, but maybe I should pass it to somebody else. Hey, Ahmed, how about I go over the schedule real quick? All right. Edoni is going to tell you about the schedule. Hi all, as you'll see here, I'll take a couple minutes to talk about the schedule, then back to our round table. Is uh, during the week of July 11th through the 19th, from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. U.S. Pacific time, you'll log on at our website. A button will be on our page to uh, access all of the information. As we talked, free on Zoom, 35 hours of new material, as well as more than 20 individual performers, MCs, stars of the world on here. What you'll see is here's an example, probably small on most people's screens, but this is online as well. You'll see dance workshops in yellow. You'll see music and singing in blue. Assemblies are in brown. Many other things. We're doing cooking classes with our teachers. There's an anniversary celebration. There's game shows. There's videos. There's special events. As you see, every day there are five hours, not counting, as Lisa said, the after parties and the parties that will be hosted by a variety of people around the world. We have a few hours for you musicians and dances. We have live classes. We have actually camper dance sharing is campers are sending in their videos for us to, to share. In addition, every night we'll have two to three live MCs interfacing with the teachers, talking with each of you via Zoom, is passing your questions on to the performers to make sure that it's an inclusive global environment on this. So it's not just watching videos, it's interfacing with our 20 or more teachers and staff that we'll have online. In addition to this schedule, we'll publish a day-to-day -day schedule in a much easier to reach format. But for now, remember, you know, July 11th through the 18th, Pacific hours, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. 
because Stockton's a global camp and we have people visiting throughout the world, both teachers and campers, and thank you everybody who flies such a long distance to come, we're actually going to replay and have additional live programming in Asia and European friendly times. In the Pacific Rim time zone, is we are going to have that from 7 p.m. to midnight every day from July 12th through the 19th. So we will show the previous day's live programming, and then we'll add in an hour. Then what we'll do for our friends in uh, Europe, Africa, and the Middle East is we will do the same replay. We will start off with the live hour, and then we will show the replay between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. in the Western European time zone. What that'll look like is something like this, where you'll see the replay here for Pacific Rim, and then we'll have a live hour of class or cooking or camper sharing. Then we'll do the same replay for our friends in Europe so that everybody, if you, you know, can't or don't stay up uh, late or super early to see the U.S. times, you'll... We have the same experience, and the same way we talked about having live MCs for the live broadcast is every session will have live MCs for Asia, have live MCs for Europe, so you'll get the same inclusive environment, have your questions answered, and chat back and forth with each other. To stay up on everything, here's five places. You can follow our website. You can sign up for our newsletter, which you'll get a weekly update until camp starts. Or hit up our social media. Thank you to Bill Cope for sharing his Twitter and his Instagram feed. And again, this will be on Zoom. You'll log on and you'll take a look at And there'll be a button on uh, our website where you'll log on and be able to uh, share. With that, let's go back here. And you know what is Aaron? I talked about uh, cooking classes. That's something Stockton's never done. What are you doing, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited about this one. Um, so I, I'll before I actually talk about the cooking class, I want to show you all something because it just came like two days ago. This is the Stockton. Let's see if I can show that. This is this year's camp shirt, which you can order online. So I just got mine, and I wanted to share that before I forgot. Um, but okay, now cooking classes. Um, so. I had wanted to do a cultural assembly this summer where, you know, maybe I, I teach a little bit about Israeli style cooking. And, you know, when you're doing the cultural assembly at the University of the Pacific, you don't have access to the kitchen. You can't really do, you know, something more than a, like a little salad or something. So this year, because we're uh, going to be all in our own homes, we have access to our normal kitchens. So uh, I'm going to be doing a cooking class and teaching you uh I've got two recipes lined up. I'm not telling you what they are yet, but they're from two different areas um, where people have come from. Uh, they've immigrated from these two areas and come to Israel and they've brought with them their culture and their, their cooking and their dancing. So we already know some of their dances and now we're gonna learn some of their foods and see how those connect. Um, and I think that's a really cool opportunity that we can do just this year because uh, we're going virtual. Um, and I, by the way, I'm not the only one doing a cooking class. Ahmet is also doing a cooking class. And uh, Richard Powers is doing something I'm very exciting about, uh, excited about, which is a cocktail making class. So he will teach us that. <laughs> Bill is on board with that. Normally, Bill and I just do uh, scotch neat. But this year, we're going to learn uh, to, to make fancy drinks. So I, I don't know, Ahmet, what, what are you doing? Do you want to tell us a little bit about your cooking segment? Oh, spaghetti. My. spaghetti milanese. <laughs> what I'm going to be teaching you is great for summertime. And uh, actually, if you put it together with, with uh, Aaron's cooking and my cooking together, you're going to have a great meal. I'm telling you. And then put Richard's drink. Oh, that's it. You have it. Oh. It's that's a perfect. Yeah. You just go outside and, you know, enjoy beautiful Turkish food, Israeli food, and, and, Drinks. What could be better? That's that's fantastic. Dance. Uh, Speaking oh, of drinks, and dancing with all of it. I forgot the most important thing. Speaking of drinks, Aaron, I just have to interject, if I may, that I've been asked to come up with what what is the best thing to drink when playing Gaida? What's the best thing to drink when playing guitar? What's the best thing to drink when you know? So I'm I'm. That's one of the tasks I'm working on. That's closely related <laughs> to enjoying life. 
So, so we have wine pairings, right? Where you, you pair this alcohol with this instrument. So, you know, wine pairings for all the instruments. Well, there might be some uh, other <clears throat> harder things involved in the, this. <laughs> yes. So uh, let's see. I think, um, well, Bill, do you want to keep going? Tell us a little bit about, uh, I think uh, you're going to tell us a little bit about the sing-along, right? Oh, I would love to. I would love to. So... When Stockton was canceled, I tried to figure out something that I could do to contribute to the community before knowing that we were actually going to do something virtual and as, as we're looking forward to now. So I started doing, uh, based on the sing-alongs that I've been doing at Stockton for a number of years um, that have been very warmly received and just a sheer joy for me to be able to, to do um, with our family at Stockton. Um, so I started doing these and uh, where it is today, I mean, at Stockton, we have about 50 minutes or an hour. In the virtual setting, we're going to have about 50 minutes, but at Stockton, the songbook had about mm, maybe 20 songs. You can do about 11 or 12 in the 50 minutes. Um, over the course of the last two months, uh, the songbook has actually almost 140 songs in it at this point. So in order to limit that to whatever people would like to do the most, I will be putting together a poll of, say, maybe the top 30 or 40 from these sing-alongs that I've been doing. Um, and let people actually be able to vote on which ones they would like to do in that 50 minutes as we do the virtual thing. But, you know, beyond that, I have to talk about there is so much opportunity to enjoy music um, at every Stockton camp, including this virtual one. Um, they're, they're going to be ukulele classes um, with uh, Melanie and Melanie Kareem and Marcella Lawson. <clears throat> Um, which people, that just has grown exponentially at camp uh, in person. I'm sure that it will do the same thing virtually. They do, it's a very warm, inviting, and easy to follow kind of environment. Um, if you're playing ukulele currently or you're considering it even, you know, you ought to give this a try. In the Zoom environment, you know, you put yourself on mute and just have a good time. Just have a good time. Um, so the, the band that has uh, evolved at Stockton, let me say a few words about that. Free Range Organic. Can you imagine a name like that for a band? And it really came together between Myman Miller, Michael Lawson, Janie Cohen and I, um, because it was just so easy to work together. In many bands, there's an ego, you know, this person wants to take a solo every time. This person, you know, overplays you. Or This, between the four of us, it just came together so organically. I mean, in terms of one person plays, another person, we, the, the rest of us support that person. Then another person plays, everybody just joins in. It's just absolutely magical, organic, and totally, believe me, free range. Um, not sure what we're going to be able to do this year in that regard. We are, we are working on that, but I certainly hope that something will be able to happen. Um, also, Michelle Simon will be doing a singing class, and if you've ever, ever been to one of hers, and she's also going to be a member of Free Orange Organic for the first time this year, um, bringing her lovely voice to everything that uh, we would normally do, and again, hoping to put together uh, virtually. Uh, but uh, there's an opportunity to take her singing classes, and also to hear Maiman do an assembly, I think, uh, what he, where he talks about something about what being a musician has meant to him. Um, and what we hope to bring both to the virtual camp as well as to whenever we can actually be in the same place at the same time once again. So, if I may, now I will pass it to Tina Kett uh, to talk a bit about assemblies, I believe. Yeah, I, I already told a little bit about that, that you have more background information. But what is nice, Bill, you mentioned talent and playing ukulele, which happened last year. I thought ukulele, okay, how popular is that? But it was my first encounter with, uh, with that class. And finally, I saw about 20 people uh, trying to play any time of the day, by the way, at night on the patio, patio when we were having a nice time. So um, Stockton is also showing really diverse talents of people. And talking about diverse talents, there is also a talent show. So uh, people have a chance to show something, to sing or to play or to do a, a, a skit or whatever, um, which is always fun at the end. And also then the ukulele and the singing class present what they've been doing all week, which is nice because you don't have a chance to, to be present at all these workshops. And one little anecdote about talent, because my first encounter with Stockton Camp, as Ahmed said, 
you know, it's internationally known, it has a reputation. Of course, that came to our country, that, that rumor. So in 1987, Maurits and I joined the camp as campers. We were traveling in the United States for six weeks with a camper and thought, let's join the camp. One little anecdote, what happened that to, because we were talking about family and warm feelings, there were, there were special people that were taking care of the first year campers. And they were really worried that we could grasp all the terminology, you know, everything was going on. And that is really a lot. So um, when we're sitting down on the evening and the band starts to play its first dance music, Maurits and I were sitting there and they were playing Michelou or and Maim. And well, we were not really thrilled to join in a little bit. We would just see, well, let's see what happened kind of attitude. And it was a lady sitting between our two, the two of us and she was ever so worried that we would not integrate or feel at home. So she took both of our hands, took us to the, to the circle and said, it's okay, you really can do this, you're fine. So when we joined and she was ever so happy when both sides to her were doing a great job. So to give you a little feeling about what happened, yeah, Maritza was really yeah, uncommon, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah very nice. Yeah. Okay, um, I've been um, working on some videos, you will see that during this week. Uh, one very good thing is that new things come to Stockton Folk Dance Camp. For this year, there was a plan to teach special workshops for young people, not only in age, but also young people in heart and people with a good battery. So oh, go fast dances, more difficult dances. Um, um, it is not possible this time because doing things by Zoom, it's, it's hard. But for next year, this will be a, a, a new and an extra thing. So especially for young people, there are always young people, but now we want to grab them and give them something special. <laughs> but, but remember, not only for young people in age, also for young people uh, with a good body and they just want to learn good stuff it will be there. So you're not doing any Dutch cooking, Maris? I'm not doing Dutch cooking. No, I'm 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 eating a, a fish during one of the videos. So I, I show you that how how to do that. Oh, that's revealing a big secret. Yes. By the way, Maris <laughs> is a little modest because besides eating a fish, he has another uh, let's say talent, and that is artwork. So Maris will give you a little tour on his artwork and what he does besides being a dance teacher. And also we, together, we do a little house tour. Maurice did a lot of research on dance in the world and you come across nice objects. So you might see a little bit of that back in our house. In that part, we show you a little piece that I videoed in Pakistan. It's uh, just the two minutes of uh, uh, 900 research DVDs I have at home. So I need um, uh, three more lives to get all through <laughs> that material. And how many camps? <laughs> many camps, camps yeah? many, many, many Think camps. Think about that. Yeah. yeah. So who would like to add to that? Or maybe we have some questions from Facebook people hey. coming up? Yeah, how about we go to Bobby is to talk a little bit about the donations. And then we can see if there's any questions from people on Facebook. So Facebook friends is uh, please feel free to ask questions and uh, Julie and Bobby will bring them to our teachers live. Bobby, you free? I think Bobby's on the Facebook one. I'm, I'm here. I'm there here. we go, my friend. Okay. Just uh, before I start talking about the Stockton package, I want to make two important things really clear. Uh, first of all, our virtual camp is truly coming to you absolutely free and no donations are required in order to attend. So whether you can make a donation or not, please come and join us. Secondly, we are a nonprofit organization and I want to assure you that any funds that come our way go directly to help support the teachers, our musicians and provide for future camps. So now we have the donation, the Stockton package on a donors put up on the board. And uh, you can also find this at our website, folkdancecamp.org. And uh, like PBS, you'll see we have different levels. And thank you, Gifts. Also find this at our website. Thank you, Gifts, for each level. And they're noted. I just want to highlight a couple of ones that are special 
if you donate at the hundred or more level. And that includes uh, getting a password for our syllabus, downloading all of the material that is on our uh, that is on our virtual camp, and also uh, something really special that we hope will give you incentive to sign up or donate early if you're planning to do that. In that Melanie is providing, she's offering to give free ukulele lessons at both the beginning and intermediate level daily from now through the time of our virtual camp. So uh, if you uh, are interested in learning ukulele and want, then sign up, do your donation early and you'll get the link to her class. Again, thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you during the uh, virtual camp and Please donate if you can. It will help our teachers and our musicians. Thank you. Back Thank to you. Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. It's one of the questions we got from at least a dozen people has also been, what do I do if I've been at camp 12 years? So if you can donate, you'll get an additional one. So Becky and I have been to camp 13 years. We will be at 14 years. For all of you who've not been at camp, plus one year, and uh, in the future, we'll show you what the little enamel pin as our thank you will be. Is, uh, you know, talking about Stockton and Sonia, can I pass it back to you? And, you know, talk about, Ahmed talked a little bit about traditions, but there's the candle lighting ceremony, right? Yeah. And so for people who are new to Stockton for dance camp, candle uh, lightning is one of the famous tradition that it's always happened on a Wednesday. And I think they had this tradition since the beginning of this camp. It's mean a lot to this family. And I really encourage you, especially if you are a first camper to attend this, uh, on the schedule, you will see candle lightning. You should be there with us. Uh, the meaning of this ceremony is to say to each of you, that you are so important in our life. We say, the pleasure of knowing you will stay for all your truth. And we really mean that. We are glad to meet you. If, if, if it's the first time that you will attend uh, Stockton camp, we will be so happy to welcome you. And I would like to invite uh, you know, people who are usually coming to, to the camp to invite friends to come with them for the first time. We need first campers. We need them. We need young people. And that's the great time to do it because we are at home. We cannot travel. It's not expensive. It's free. So come with us. And then we will have a wonderful welcome ceremony. When is this uh, ceremony? This is on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. I don't know which hour, but according to where you are in the world, but you have the schedule, you have the detail, and you should attend this uh, ceremony with me. You'll love I it. Always cry. <laughs> don't cry, Sonia, now. Not, now. <laughs> Not the good moment. It, it's touching, right. and it means a lot to all of us. Especially during this uh, crazy pandemic, we need to have good spirit and feel that we are all together. And each of you are a flame. You say that, a flame? And if we put all the flame together, we will put away this darkness. Will be a big explosion. After the virus <laughs> kaput, everybody want to dance. Will be like a, yes. a atomic yes. bomb. It's true because it's hard to dance in the living room. I know that many of you are upset that you cannot dance well. It's why we have so many different activities in this online camp. It's because we know that some of you cannot really dance, and it's a lot of frustration because, uh, it's the, yeah. But we can have fun. So on that note, Sonia, I want to, I have a couple of questions about the cooking. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> so I think probably these are uh, 
directed at Aaron and Ahmet in particular. Um, they want to know if there are going to be ingredient lists uh, published at some point, hopefully at the beginning. So I'm seeing great big yeses. Yes, and yes. Specifically to Ahmet, uh, what magazine, what cooking magazine are you using to uh, publish these pictures you've been pitching? Sorry. <laughs> Who put this question? Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> I, I think it was uh, Jelko Yergan who put this question. <laughs> now, now, these, these questions are anonymous. <laughs> no, just it's a supposition. Yeah, yeah, I will check. Julie, yes, uh, definitely. We're going we're gonna to post. OK, there are two ways. Some people will prefer just to watch and record and do it later. And some people will want to do it on the spot with us. Oh, She's nice. good actually, why not? I mean, because you know, when you, when you do it right on the spot, uh, it, it becomes maybe uh, easier. So yes, we're gonna list the ingredients. Mines are gonna be very simple. Uh, so yes, we're gonna post that ahead of time. So they will be prepared. Excellent, Aaron, are you gonna do the same? Yeah, the same thing. So it'll be like, uh, you know, one cup of flour and uh, three quarter cups of water, whatever. So you, you can actually prepare in advance and there may be some things like uh, red pepper, but you should dice it beforehand. So you can do a little bit of the prep work and you just have it ready to go. Um, and, and then it's just, you know, boom, bam, add the spice. Add the heat. <laughs> I, I, I see I, I've been never invited to be on the cooking. Ahmet, someone yeah. wants someone wants to know if this cooking lesson will be at the beginning or the intermediate level. Oh, you know, this is a good, very good question. I'm going to mix. I'm going to teach three different things in a short amount of time because they're fast. So one of them will be for beginners. Second one, second and third one will be intermediate. OK, oh. so even if you are too left handed, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> But I can't tell my left from my right, so I'm still out. No, no, you're okay. I promise. I promise you're okay. <laughs> okay, Roberto, everybody wants to know where you are and what time it is in Italy. Uh, uh, actually, well, I'm in the countryside in, in, in a special woods in a central in Italy. Now it, it's, seven, it's almost seven o'clock. And, um, and I had this commitment from many, many times before because it's the first time we can go out. So I just wanted to go out in the country, but uh, on the same time, I wanna be here. Uh, I wanna be part of this event. So I just found a, a little spot. I don't know if anyone could see just behind me. And um, it's a beautiful plain here in the, and it was a beautiful day, so I'm, I'm very happy to have the chance of being in the country, but also be part of this presentation. I want to be here. So you've been in uh, isolation for how long? Uh, four months. Yeah. Since we started at the end of the February, and then uh, we are like... A, we we could go out uh, middle middle June. This will be the our first weekend out. All right. Yeah. Well, that's it for me. Do uh, back to you, Adoni. Oh, uh, Adoni, there is another question. Uh, some people are wanting to know if there are going to be other teachers participating in addition to the ones that are at the round table. Absolutely. So everybody, pitch in. Uh, I know Caspar is going to be participating. Who else do we have, friends? Richard, Richard, Power. Richard Towers. Towers. I think Gordon is going to tell us. Well, uh, so Richard Powers, Myman Miller is going to do something. Uh, Michael and Michelle Lawson, brother and sister, uh, ukulele, Casper. Uh, I think Barbara and Robert McGowan are scheduled for something. And uh, Jeanette uh, is also uh, on the list. And I think there are some others I don't have here. So uh, we, we have uh, in our game shows that we'll talk about a little bit is uh, oh, yeah. we've got, uh, I believe, Jelko joining, maybe Joe Graziosi joining. Is uh, Melanie we mentioned is, uh, you know, um, and apologies for any, Susan Warland 
is going to be on, everybody, with her fabulous violin skills, is um, I am sure we are forgetting someone, and it would have been smart if I had had even a list France. near me. Even France even are joining in a game show as even well. Even France. Even France Moreau will and join in a game show. That's great to tie in. They'll be part of the anniversary celebration for Christian and Sonia. So you'll see well. even France okay. participating. And the games. And the and games. The games. Uh, the games, yeah. We have uh, three games putting on as uh, being driven by the great game masters. Randy and Marie Spiegel are putting together some games with our teachers. Does anybody want to drop any hints on that? No, it's a surprise. We can't talk too much about this. We, we get in trouble. No, it's a surprise. But what I want to add is we as dance teachers are completely out of our comfort zone. We, you, you <laughs> see us from a different angle. Uh, I'm not sure which angle. It will be surprising not only for you, but also for us. For us. And it's kind of a couple thing, one game between couples. And there's one thing where I just push his chair to the side, and it's me or him. Yeah, so <laughs> that's all I can say. For the rest, we keep it a secret. Yep. And what but you'll see. Teasers, you know, I'm talking about a teaser little let's say startup movies to to give you an idea about camp as well so don't miss out on that you might see some of it but the games are really well deep secret yeah and Tenika, i'll hop in and say that is one of the great things is all the teachers have been fabulous in coming up with a schedule we thought we'd do some dance classes and then people are like how about game show how about cooking and everybody's feeling a little uncomfortable on how to do these things online but everybody watching it is amazing how all of our staff and our faculty and people around the world have hopped on and said, how can I help? With pleasure. Fun. What else, uh, Danny? So yes, I Roberto. Oh. Yeah, I would just want to say something uh, that it, for me, you know, it's so important. That is parties. I mean, every day after the schedule, there will be party time. So even from our home, uh, we are separate, but there will be the opportunity to dance, not only the dance from camp, of course, that we have learned every day, but a request and a playlist and every day there will be time for uh, dancing, free dancing. And that's so important for me, even, even in this crazy situation. Yeah. So I have a question for uh, Sonia and Christian from Peggy. Uh, she wants to know how you guys have been faring with the sheltering in place in Montreal. Sorry, we didn't understand. Our how, English is a little have, bit catastrophic. How have you been doing over the past months? This, while uh, having this time. At home? Oh, okay. We are in holiday We at okay. home. It's not easy, but we have a lot of time to prepare new material, new dance. Already our new album, volume 11, it's ready. And uh, this is maybe 13. Yeah, I, yeah, well, it's that not brings easy. us to another question for perhaps Gordon or Adoni, and that is how will the, our campers get the music? Um, from uh, things that people are teaching in virtual camp to 2020. Oh, absolutely. What we'll have is each teacher is giving us information on how to either contact them to buy their CDs or DVD or material, or for those that, you know, that are using links to YouTube, it'll all be on a page on our main site. It'll come up about July 1st, and you'll be able to click on each teacher and understand where you can get the video, where you can get their videos, where you can get their music, and any other associated information. Yes. As well as ways to pay, as well as ways to this, and find out a little bit more about when uh, several of these people are doing tours and when their tours will kick back off. Right? Is that so we can get back uh, face to face as well? Okay. Hey, Donny. Yeah, Ahmed. I have a great item for the uh, auction. I've been oh. book, really, really beautiful book. And uh, so I'm going to donate it to the auction. Oh, we haven't even talked about the auction. It's fabulous. Julie, you want to chat a, chat a minute or two about the auction? 
me unmute myself here. Uh, sure. Yeah, we had um, we have somebody who made a quilt for our 2020 um, regular traditional camp, and she was uh, disappointed that the, she wouldn't be able to donate it. So um, we asked around, and there were several people that felt that way. So we are going to have an online auction. Uh, the way it works is if you donate, part of your donation is also the shipping to whomever buys it. Um, we limit that to the United States unless our donor uh, feels otherwise or perhaps is not from the United States. Uh, um, the auction will run three days during camp, uh, July 14th at 8 a.m. through July 16th, somewhere around 10 p.m. as is traditional at our regular camp. We will never know quite when we're going to finish it. Um, but before the auction, it's going to run on a Facebook page, a special group to uh, keep it private. Um, and before the auction, that page will be up. You won't be allowed to bid. If you do bid, we'll erase it. Uh, uh, but it'll be up so that you can see it like a catalog and decide whether or not that's something you want to get back to during those three days. Um, I think uh, details are going to get put up on our on our Facebook website at folkdancecamp.org. So be sure and, and check it out. All of the things we've talked about today are going to be on that website sooner or later. It is a work in progress. Back to you, Adoni. Let's quickly mention the raffle. As Bobby talked about raffle tickets as part of your donation, if you can afford to donate. Again, it will be free on Zoom. Is With those raffle tickets, you'll have things that you can win. For example, a dance with the teacher of your choice next time you're at camp. You'll have ability to win your choice of first requests at the party. Is uh, We'll do drawings every night. There will also be little throw-in games and quizzes. I see online is there'll be some jigsaw puzzles to do and race. And uh, loads of everything. There'll be, there'll be gifts uh, or there'll be prizes that will be surprises, but also things that every camper wants, such as... Uh, front row seats at the talent show, or having your table go first at the banquet. I, I'm sorry. I want to say something, if it's possible. I want to say hello to my mother, who she watch us now live from Paris. She is very happy. She know a lot of you. And this is one of the advantage to do virtual, uh, so. <laughs> You know the fish, this is a long story with the fish and banana and other activities. Anyway, bonjour mama, tell you best. Noi suntem bine, sorry, I speak a little bit fast in Romania language. Noi suntem bine cu toți prietenii, cu Roberto, cu Ahmed, tot e bine. Te pup. Sorry. That's a new fish. Yes, so we have to use what we can do, you know, like... Look, the pantera. Oh, Philippi and Marius, they have a pantera. Oh, oh. catastrophe. Ahmed, where is your cat? <laughs> I, locked her, I locked her up because she always <laughs> Now, folks, you might wonder what this joke was all about. We saw a fish just now, but all the times that we were meeting as a preparation to these Zoom sessions and talking and discussing, either Adoni, who's not in view, had his cat. Uh, passing yeah. by and well, a tail in his nose, either Ahmed or... And so we go. decided we, we can't stay behind, you know, in, in this whole circus of pets. So we've done our share right now. It's over. It's passed. <laughs> it is not. I want to know if um, Ahmed has a British short hair like I do. I've, I've seen the cat in the background and I think it's a British short hair. What is it? Ahmed? No, mine. Yours. What kind of cat is it? It's a yellow and white cat. Yeah, but, <laughs> no but isn't, brand it name. Really, isn't it a really puffy cat? It's a British short hair, I'm sure. <laughs> the problem is that um, she, grow, she grows her hair very, very fast. And, and for that, I hate her because I can't get my hair grow that fast. So <laughs> she leaves all her fur everywhere. But it's OK. Yeah. You know, it gives me a chance to um, vacuum every day. I have a Roomba. It works. <laughs> Roomba. Hey, I have a question. Did we talk about the children's class or non-dancer non, uh, non partner idea? 
Not yet. Oh. Hey, well, Maurits, yes, a little bit. Yeah. It, it. No, but it's like, you know, Maurits, do you want to tell again? Well, it, it is it is for a special class, but not for the for the small kids. It was a very tough material we were going to do, and um, there will be um, next year. So the real 2021 thing, but um, there was something going on for children, isn't it? Yeah. Simple uh, dances, easy, easy dances. dances. Who is doing that? Uh, we are going to be. Ha uh, Carlene is not on this roundtable, but she will be handling that, and she's taken. She's had a number of people offer, and videos are being made. And definitely simple dances for all ages will be included as part of our program. There'll be, in, I believe, two hours of it. I think initially we, we were supposed, Christian and I, to do a kids ca a class, but uh, because there's so many, so many activity and activities that we sadly we had to cut that class. Next but, year, uh, Sonia, next year we want you so much for dances for all ages. Yes. <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> so uh, I was thinking about adding some couple of very easy dances that could be done by non-dancer partner or, or even for children. So, you know, it doesn't mean we're not going to have any, right? Uh, the, yeah. focus will, the focus will be on dances that actually can be done alone. And Ahmed, you talked about during your surprise video that, you know, keep it a secret, but everybody tell everybody. You talked about the non-dancer events we're having, right? The cooking classes, the assemblies, what you say, fun for the whole family. Right, exactly. So this whole thing is like, okay, Sonia said it there, or was it Sonia or Christian? To me, they both exactly the same, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but what uh, said that actually this whole event is one way of learning great and this and that but i think one of the most important thing is lifting the spirits up not individually but as a family like whoever how many ever people in the house we're going to try to lift everybody's uh, spirits up so we're going to have everybody involved some ways by cooking or by telling jokes or or games or dancing whatever so we're going to have uh, enough for the entire family right guys yes, yes. And if i can add something yes, to that you know, during an assembly, okay, now we get some really inside information, but the FBI is not around, so I'm, I'm, I'm sharing it anyway with the whole world. Sometimes during an assembly, the goodwill is there, but the body gives up. So you see some people like, and then, oh, yes, this was a PowerPoint presentation. Not during the first camp week, let's say the first part of the week, but we have two weeks, so also teachers might be a little bit guilty of that. But um, these assemblies or these presentations, you're sitting behind a computer, we're fully aware of that. It's not long, long. It's either a five minute, a 10 minute, maybe a 20 minute. So that makes it fun to watch. There's a big variety. So we have taken that into consideration. And by the way, we can't hear you anyway snoring, so that's fine too. Ahmed, I have a question. Yes. A question I always wanted to ask to those television cooks. Now you will be one. What will happen if the taste is not good? Will you show it or will you not show it? How, how, what will happen then? Of course, I won't tell anybody. No. <laughs> Plus, I, it always tastes good. Ahmed's food is always delicious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, but all television cooks will, will say that, isn't it? But here's the problem, Maurits. Eric Goldman, she just wrote that actually she's only a mile away from where I live. So she is literally talking about stopping over when I cook and taking the leftovers. But I think the real reason is she wants to make sure that it tastes good. So I better do a good job. I have no choice. Okay. <laughs> well, you are practicing on Facebook all the time and I'm making a big impression. I mean, wow, this guy is so special. Yeah, that, that, that's about photos, but the taste I'm talking about. Yeah, right? but you know, he's showing up. He's vacuum cleaning. Wow, what a guy. <laughs> he's cooking on Facebook. Wow, what a guy. He has a nice uh, outlook. Wow, what a guy. Come on, Ahmed. Give us a break. Give us a chance. No, Tirik, Jelko just told me, he said, what is next? Knitting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> knitting for him. <laughs> I know, I saw the results. I know you're knitting as well. Don't mention it. Forget about the knitting people. Viewers, you've never heard about knitting, okay? It's enough. I had to Maris, you to show some of your artwork. I was mesmerized. I was so impressed with the, uh, the, the, uh, the artwork you showed us the other day. You, you got to show people what you did. 
we yeah. will. We will. We have a little video uh, where where I will show some artwork. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah. That's but I, that, that is not originally my profession, and and dancing is just came. I don't know. No, um, parallel. parallel. So uh, for my was 15, 16 years old, or 14, I started dancing, and then uh, I did my education in an art academy. So, oh, wow. so it's, um, uh, we, we'll show some things. Yes. Cool. Very cool. But I have to tell you, forget about you, forget about me. I think Christian does the best carving, wood carving. I saw. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show it. Show it. Show it. Wait a show it. We'll show you. Yes. <clears throat> oh, my God. Actually, you... I should subtitle right now with don't believe everything you see in this movie. <laughs> you don't take full responsibility for the interpretation. It's like based on a true story, but not exactly true. Exactly. So... <laughs> Now ah. we have the key question of camp. Did from Oza, from Oza. This yes, it contains the food of Ahmed. Yes, we and you and need a good spoon. And behind yes. it says, made in Romania. Made <laughs> oh, sorry, oh, sorry. <laughs> made in China. No. Made in China. No, it's not made in Romania. Sorry. Always good to have a wife. Camp, uh, what I'm thinking is telling some uh, interesting memories of, of Stockton. Like for many years, I thought Gordon and Jerry Heldt were involved. Uh -oh. I deny everything. It <laughs> must have been just Jerry. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> so there will be, I'm very much looking forward to sharing some information with uh, people who join us. <laughs> and as and I said, Aaron, I have a question for you. Oh, yeah. So we're also wondering where you are, and we heard a rumor that uh, you've been moving. What's going on with you? Yeah, so um, I, I left my job uh, on uh, March 5th, um, and I went to I went straight from the, my last day of work to Laguna Festival. So those of you who saw me there, I, I had just quit my job, uh, and I was going to start like two weeks later with a new one. And of course, I had terrible timing, um, and and the 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 new job was like put on hold blah 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 but i just started may 28th with the new job and so i moved to redwood city which is is very close to where i was before but it's avoiding an hour commute during traffic so anyway this is my new uh this is just outside but you can look around just here um in the patio um so there's our pool back there and a barbecue um Anyway, my apartment is is these windows right here. So you'll see inside uh, when we actually get to camp because I'll be dancing inside there. Um, and for those of you who asked about Steve, he's in there. Steve is my cat. So he will inevitably come and sit in the middle of the circle at some point and I'll have to like, you know, go do grapevines over him or something like that. Uh, but yeah, welcome, welcome to my new apartment. We have a, a question for Roberto, if there's going to be Italian cooking class. And <laughs> also, also on no, that, no. Uh, on not, not this year, at least not this year. We had uh, all the all the all the spots <laughs> were, were taken by Ahmed and Aaron. So, well, no, no yeah. place, no place to do this. <laughs> but but we have so, to in the future as as the beneficiary of your cooking in the past i can yeah. tell you roberto's food is delicious <laughs> amazing yeah so and uh yeah maybe next time i will be always worth you know, to do. <laughs> not this year any, uh, bobby do you have another question yes there was a question if there's going to be a turkish coffee cup reading Oh, oh. <laughs> I could do that. No. I yeah, do. He is very good on reading in palm cards yes. and coffee. Really, I'm not kidding. Yes, I, it, I need that. He doesn't want to do it because uh, then he tell you bad news. And <laughs> I need a... Well, Bobby, no. it would be a challenge, but I think it could be done. Is it an auction item? Um, it isn't at this point, but I'd be happy to make it one. If you make it one, definitely. I will, I will polish my lying skills. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see, Ahmed. So, um, 
I, I think that uh, we've about covered everything and uh, it's been an hour and 15 minutes and I, I want to thank all the participants in today's roundtable discussion about the VSFDC. Don't forget to donate to the teachers if you can afford it. Go to the camp websites for additional information. And especially I want to thank Aaron and Ahmet and Bill, Christian and Sonia, Tinika and Maritz and Roberto. Also Ellie, Julie, Bobby, Lisa, and mostly Doni for this great round table discussion. And thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Virtual camp. Okay. Bye -bye.